Hey yo together and welcome to Let's Play XCOM 2. I just loaded the um, game already because I had some weird bug where I had to switch on and off the mod, the import character from character pool mod. Strange thing, but whatever. Most important thing is that it works now. And if I'm not mistaken, if I'm not mistaken, then we lost cube crasher in our last mission and we didn't accomplish to get the mission objective so that was really bad and I do hope I can do it better this time but we will see interestingly it takes a long time to load again but here we are so let's have a short look stupid fly Okay, research resistance to make contact with West Africa, construct a proving ground facility. I think... I don't know. Um, I would love to build Maximum the... Maximum power consumption reached. Yeah, that's the problem. I would do the proving ground, but I can't currently. I need to wait. Uh, huh. The thing is, I would need more, more power. Maximum power consumption reached. Power, uh, power relay. Building relay to increase the total power of a lot of the Well, it would help to have that. But I don't know if I should build it right in the middle. Maximum but I think power consumption power relay construction initiated. Because that's just clearing the alien machinery mechanism. What is okay? Yeah, I, I think that should be fine. Um, they are busy. Okay. Oh, okay. So. What do we have here? A few soldiers, armory, sharpshooter. I got a promotion. Okay. No, a weapon up. Oh, and a promotion. Okay, a promotion and a weapon upgrade. So let's see. Um, that's my weapon. Nice. And I can get it the advanced auto loader, which does free reloads. Once a weapon upgrade supplied can be replaced. But not reused. Oh! Um, no. Order repeater. Free instant kills. Ah! There it stands. A 5% chance to instantly kill your target when you hit them, regardless of the target's remaining HP. That's not bad. Or the free reloads. The first two reloads in a mission do not cost an action. And that's actually really good, and I think I go with that. The 5% might be very useful. But the extra reload seems just to be way better to me. Okay. Well, that was that was not too bad. Um, uh, I did get the ranger. He's training. I thought. Yeah, I customize. Because what I wanted to do, we had a ranger, and I wanted to implement, but I don't know how it works right now. Uh, props? No, then character info? Load from pool. Ah, right, I need, because I wanted cube. Crasher. Um, okay, I need this guy will be Cube Crasher, I think. Cube Crasher 2. But uh, I need to I need to check how this works exactly with the last name, the first name, because I somehow did throw away the paper where I had everything written down. So um, yeah. But we could, you know what? Let's just have a look. Um, 
shortly. That, that's okay. We can we can go, go through this shortly. I mean, I got time. Um, character pool. Captain Cube Crasher. CPT dot Cube Crasher. Okay. CPT dot Cube Crasher. I like it that uh, that our soldiers are on the loading screen. That's really awesome. Okay, so we load Captain Cube Crasher, as it looks like. Which is okay. So let's go to the armory then. A few soldiers. This guy. I think you were a ranger. I'm not quite sure. Um, if I'm mistaken, then please write it down in the comments and I will fix this as best as I can. So, no. Captain Cube Crasher. So, and then we load character. Yeah, warning soldier is not a veteran and so did not get nickname or attitude from pool. Soldier in pool was described as a different class to the soldier. Oh! You weren't a ranger? You will be a ranger! That's what the ranger training is for. Now I got it. Okay. Now that's, that's fine, I think. Um, yeah, we just wait until your training is finished and then I will load the character again. I hope that works. Uh, but for now, let's have a look at the... Let's expand that a little bit. Okay, let's go to the command station. Adventure report. Core facility. What's that? that? That's interesting, but... Oh, the globe, right. That That's what I initially wanted to do. So let's... Uh, uh, Yufu, Yufu hunts the Avenger. If they keep imprisoning and torturing people, you're sure someone's gonna talk. Commander, remote reconnaissance indicates the aliens have a UFO hunting for our position. We need to be careful about where we pick our flight paths. Aha. Uh -huh. So there it is. Um... What's that? Welcome, Commander. Okay, I don't have the supplies yet. Uh, passing time and resistance scanning bonus. Or we make the contact. Seven days remain. Five days remain. I think we make contact now. Commander, we've utilized all of our available communications capacity. Uh -oh. We can't establish uh -oh. any new contacts until we upgrade our systems. Oh, I think that was bad. But we will see. to establish local regional contact. Come on, give me something good here. The get go. Oh my. Okay. Oh, this this was the objective. Commander, we've established contact with the local resistance, and we're ready to move on the alien black site on your order. Advent's been keeping this facility a closely guarded secret. Oh God. We should make sure our troops are ready for a tough fight before we send them out there. Oh. It looks like we've got our work cut out for us, Commander. Okay. New regional contacts located. New Brussels. Once our regions contacted, blah blah blah. And Western Europe. Okay. So, um, let's have a look here. I can't do anything here. That's the thing. I, I can't click it. I, I think I've read that at some point you will be able to click it and do something about it, but currently I just can't. So, um, um, making contact heal faster. Well, that's not too bad. What's there? Oh, that's... Okay. Investigate Advent Black Side. This remote edifice is heavily guarded by the Advent. Okay, no, 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 no. Not quite yet. Setting course we get there East first. Africa. Because I want, I want our Ranger Cube Crasher back into action. Okay, so let's see. There we go. So that's that. Ah, there you go. Now you got your attitude and everything. That that's that's what I wanted. Yeah, that's looking good. But I think I will just 
one more time make sure that you are really soldiers not a veteran did not get me their attitude that's okay but not pattern the color but not the pattern oh, you know what your weapon let's have a look at your weapon yeah weapon color let's see uh, we have armor is 82 so let's have a look if 82 looks good on you that's not I think that's that's good so it wasn't 82 right no 73 whatever and the uh, weapon color that's okay but the weapon pattern yeah let's let's give it some pattern I don't know what we had last time uh, I would say classic is fine looks quite good if you want something else just let me know but oh wait right um, I need your cube crasher 2 because the first one died or was missing we lost that guy sadly I'm resistant comes at capacity idle staff okay retraining I don't want to do any retraining and I don't need any healing so I will just put uh, you from the yes so that's good okay okay so I will I will do those four days and then we start this mission I hope I am sure works. you will find the results to be as intriguing as I do commander oh yeah definitely Although advent clearly intended for these units to be their means of dealing with any unruly civilians within the city centers it seems they have come to rely on more brutal means of pacification in the time since okay we have an arc blade that's interesting on both the physical physical and genetic level the advanced stun lances are nearly identical to the troopers or forces regularly in combat okay however a minor yet circle adjustment to the muscle fiber density of the lance improves both agility and overall survivability equipped with Non-lethal weapons capable of easily disabling human targets. These lenses were first developed during the earliest days following advanced establishment of the city centers, when civil unrest was a more common problem than outright resistance. Okay. In studying their usage and deployment, this raised an interesting question. If the lenses were among the first advent forces deployed, and their survivability is somewhat higher than that of the standard trooper, did the aliens Consciously reduce the trooper's strength based on the assessment of human combat re readiness. Read readiness? What? Uh, this would imply a system of rapid genetic modification beyond what I had previously mentioned the aliens were capable of. It would also demonstrate a degree of genetic fra fragility that would have previously assumed was irrelevant to the aliens based on the variety of unusual experiments they've conducted. Arc blade. When pure kinetic energy is no longer sufficient in the field, the arc blade may prove necessary. It boosts the standard sword's combat effectiveness with the addition of an electric field capable of stunning enemies that are not killed outright. Okay, that's good. That's good. Um, magnetic weapons would be awesome, but 19 days is quite a lot. Resistance radio or sector autopsy. Though I Let's was never with witness to one myself. Countless observers attest to the existence of a much smaller, less intimidating variant of the sectoid that took part in the original invasion. In the time since, this new being, the product of clear genetic manipulation, is now a familiar face to our forces operating in the field. Bleh. Okay, so that's the sectoid. I'm, I'm wondering Almost. because... Yeah, yeah, I'm wondering in the options. No. Interface. Show subtitles, that's what I want. It's easy to avoid ah. seeing the bigger picture. To this day, 
I still ask myself whether it was willful ignorance or unbridled curiosity that led me to blindly pursue my research with such zeal. Hey, okay, Commander. let's... Hi. Um, can you... build... No. I need more supplies and more alien alloy. That's... that's sad. I would have lo loved to have that. Um... Okay, no med kits, no mimic beacon. No med kits, that's 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 tough. No med kits is very tough, but I don't have any supplies. Tigan so seems to have a habit of scratching that scar on the back of his head. I wonder if anyone made sure his chip was actually removed. <laughs> okay. Ah, uh, let's let's scan further. Commander, that UFO contact has us locked in. We have to take evasive maneuvers. Okay. Commander, we have detected an enemy UFO in close proximity to the airman train. Let's rapidly advance to our position. Begin evasive maneuvers. Setting okay. course for South Africa. Um. Cool, I guess. What the f. Well, that did cost us quite <laughs> some the clear, time. Commander. No further sign of the pursuing UFO. Okay, so we go back East to the... Africa. Yeah, please. Because I still want to make contact with the locals. Commander, we just got word that the resistance hit an advent supply line. Oh. We have an opportunity to salvage some high-value materials, assuming we can clear out the alien forces guarding the site first. Okay, uh, we do that. That's, that's, that seems to be very too important to South Africa. ignore. Yeah. We try that, definitely. But, guess what? I will make a cut here. Sorry for you. I'm re I, I really am, but, but I, I will need lots of time to go through that mission. So I will do this in the next episode, which should be a bit longer, I guess. Um, so, even though it might be a short one now, and not the best episode, I still hope you did somewhat enjoy. It's hard to me to find myself, to get myself back into this game, as it's so new to me and I hardly know anything about it, but yeah, we will get through it in the next episode. Thank you for watching, hope you enjoyed, I wish you a nice day, and...